All right, hey you guys, it is the Market Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of Fairy Tale Manga Chapter 446, The Land Abandoned by God, and this chapter, I, I honestly, I don't know how to feel about Fairy Tale anymore. I don't know how to comprehend the like the absolute effery of of it lately because if you've noticed they have pretty much been coming out unscathed from everything and that is completely unusual for fairy tale because they are supposed to be able to learn from their their failures and become stronger from it being beaten like getting bloodied and bruised and coming up against somebody that they can't defeat right then and training and becoming stronger and I understand that all of them were training for a year during that year time skip and everybody has become pretty freaking OP but there is still always there's always going to be somebody stronger than you regardless of how strong you are that's just a fact of life and this Lately, fairy tale, like literally everything that they've come up against, they've pretty much just annihilated, regardless of how strong they had appeared to be. And I mean, besides like them getting their butt handed to them by um, Mar Malvin, I can't remember what his name is, the dude that chick um, brandish disintegrated, and and then she shrunk the island, and they were afraid of her so what happened to that fear what happened to pushing yourself and trying so hard to beat somebody that you know you can't beat and possibly not prevailing and it's just lately it seems like they are too overpowered they're becoming moderates right now and for those of you who do watch me my reviews of Naruto or anything you know how much I don't like Madara because he is too freaking OP so the fact that they are so overpowered and like in this chapter for example which I'm supposed to be talking about anyway um, they saved they saved Gramps <coughs> they saved Makara from Spriggan because apparently Spriggan is Zareth and Zareth is the emperor of this continent which I didn't in the slight, slightest see coming so he's an emperor and he rules this continent and he pretty much told um, Makarov that he's bringing war and there's nothing that Makarov can do about it so Makarov of course was upset because he was like I did all of this for nothing I broke up fairy tale for nothing blah 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 and of course Urza being the strong person she is she was like anything that you do for the for the sake of someone else is never for not so don't ever feel that way about trying to help us because we are we are a family like a giant tree branching out towards the sky most of you probably won't even know where that's from but they were going to take him back to fairy tale and of course Ajil, Ajil, he he looks like a force to be reckoned with. I personally would have been afraid of him. And this is where the, the fuck restarts because he was on he was on their butts and he pretty much sucked them into a sand pit after he chased them with his sand golem and they really couldn't even land a hit on him and they were about to die and then literally they just got like a freaking power up and sh shot out of the sand all of them shot out of the sand I mean I understand like um gray has this freaking awesome power up now where he can use his pretty much his curse mark um Lucy is able to cloak herself like she's able to um bring upon herself her um celestial spirits powers like she is able to take form on herself of their power if that made absolutely any sense whatsoever but she's able to use their power herself not necessarily having to have them but she can use their power and she can pretty much cloak herself in their power and draw from it and 
she was a force to be reckoned with and it was just this is whole chapter and after he sucked them in and they looked like they were about to die they just shot up out of the sand and then not to like they looked like they got power ups from their um from their guild marks and then not to punch the crap out of him. I was like, where in the world did I come from? All of y'all were just about to die. Like, all of y'all were getting sucked into his sand pit. And now you just miraculously have the ability to sh to get power-ups from your fairy tale um, guild, Mark. I don't believe it. Like, it's just this chapter made me so angry. <laughs> But, like, it's still pretty freaking awesome because I do love fairy tale and I'm happy that I caught up to it. But, they need to be afraid. They need to. I feel like they're losing what fairy tale is really about. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I would love to hear how you guys felt about this chapter. How do you feel about the recent chapters and how things are turning out? But, yeah. So, as always. Please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. And this is Super Swag saying adios.